Hello viewers, welcome to a memory tweak episode. Today we'll be testing out which memory tweak works best on the 1080, or the GTX 10 NVIDIA 1080. Currently I applied the memory tweak 1 and we'll just check if it is stable and then we'll continue to tweak it upwards to see if it increases any further. So memory tweak 1 increased it quite a bit up to 32.7 mega hash. Let's see how far we can go. I think you can go up to all the way up to six. Let's do it one at a time just to be safe. See now if it's stable at memory tweak two. Memory tweak one went up to 32. It was surprising. To say the least, I am leaving MSI afterburner on just to regulate the fan if I see the temperature goes up too high. It's increasing, so let me just help it on. Make it 80 just to be safe with the temperatures because it looks like the memory tweak does increase it quite a lot or very quickly faster than the auto can catch up with the temperature so that's why maybe it's best to put it at 80 keep it there so if you watched my previous video where i did the normal overclocking steps without doing the memory tweak the best we could get up to was 25.31 and now with the memory tweaks it's already way above that so let's hope it stays stable and hopefully we can go all the way to memory tweak 6. But it's recommended to do it one at a time. So let's continue with the steps. Looks like memory tweak 2 puts it in at 33.27, which is another half a mega hash higher than memory tweak 1. So let's move it to memory tweak 3 and see what happens. So now we're doing memory tweak 3, I'm leaving MSI afterburner open with a fan at 80%. Just to make sure it doesn't increase like it did every previous time. Currently it's at 50 which is good. I assume it will go up to 60. It's still fine. Let's see what memory tweak 3 brings us. Memory tweak 1 was 32.7, 2 was 33.27. Let's see if we can stay stable all the way up to memory tweak 6 which would be nice. This memory tweak jumping at almost 10 mega ashes in the start. And also for those of you who don't know, I'm doing the mining on T-Rex Miner and these are the steps that you have to go into the bat file and edit it to change the memory tweaks on there and also you have to run it as administrator otherwise it doesn't apply it so memory tweak 3 uh, delivers a constant 33.33 but it is still stable so we're going to go on to memory tweak 4 and see what happens so to do the steps we'll have to close T-Rex Miner first Control c Y enter and we go into the edX miner file the copy that I made of the original say edit here at the end you would put dash dash empty space and then the number and you start from one go up to six so far we're okay with up to four or up to three and we'll see if four is still stable those save and it's applied it and you have to run as administrator otherwise it doesn't work and we leave this one with a fan at 80 percent just to make sure the temperature does not increase too much over here you can see memory tweak 4 is being applied to the card nothing really else is being applied here you can see the overclockings is all standard at zero zero and the power at 100 percent hopefully it stays stable up to all the way up to six and then we can do the overclockings again and see what the new rate comes in at. Already it's a lot better than just doing the overclockings without any memory tweaks. So I'm happy with that so far. Now I have not personally pushed the card with a memory tweak until it crashed. This is actually the first time that I'm trying this. So I don't know if it crashes immediately or after a couple of minutes. That's why I'm leaving it to run a while. See if it stays sort of stable. And then I can move on to the next number. Also just keep in mind even if you have the exact same card with the exact same design and the exact same memory you might get you probably will get very different results. If you want to know mine is the NVIDIA Dash GDDR 5X Micron memory and it normally runs at 180 watts all all these ones will be 8 gigabyte 180 watts difference is normally in here but even if you have these exact ones you might get different results if you do please go ahead and post your results in the comment section below so we can create a database there of all the ones 
it does actually work but it does look like memory tweak 4 comes in stable at 33.43 mega ash so we'll move on to memory tweak 5 so here you can see memory tweak 5 has been applied let's see if it stays stable so it looks like 5 is stable at 33.67 so we're going to move it up to 6 and hopefully it stays there or it goes up a bit more so we're going to move it up to level 6 memory tweak 6 and see if that one is also stable so over here you can see we applied memory tweak 6 and we'll see if it's stable and what result this one gives us so it does look like memory tweak 6 is stable but it gives us slightly less mega ash 33.53 your memory tweak 5 was 33.67 i'm wondering if the memory tweaks gets limited by maybe the power limit on the MSI afterburner or the core clock at zero or a memory clock at zero it might but that is a full memory tweak video leave a thumbs up below and remember to subscribe so we can continue on this journey together in the next video I'll apply memory tweak 6 with different overclocking settings to see which one works out best thanks for watching cheers